Hello and welcome to the Them Frames YouTube channel. I'm Dan Jin, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the number one reason not to quit photography. Just before we get into the video, folks, just that timely reminder that if you're liking the content, please subscribe. Then you can always get notified when a new video is being published here on the channel. If you like the content, you can hit the like button. It takes less than a split second. And also, if you want to share your thoughts, then leave a comment down below and I'll try and interact with you as best as I can. Right, let's get into it. So I've been practicing photography since around about 2006. Now, this was before any kind of social media. I think Facebook had just started, but we didn't really understand what it was and we were familiarizing ourselves with it. And it certainly wasn't kind of a home for photographs or marketing your photography brand or anything like that. So we really just did photography for the love of it. We, we did it because we found it cool, we found it interesting, it was a good way to meet friends, it was an awesome way to be creative and just mess around. Now, I wasn't very good back then, but that didn't really matter to me. I really fell in love with the process of learning and understanding how cameras worked, understanding what I could do with a camera. Now, fast forward kind of 10 years later, social media is very much into its peak, if you will. It's, it's very much a space for photographers to share their work, get admiration, get validation, have some likes, have some love, sometimes have some hate, depending on who's commenting. And, and, and in many ways, social media, as, as much as people criticize it, it, it's been a great way to get people into photography. You know, uh, that combined with the fact that cameras became more accessible, both dedicated cameras, you know, brands were making budget cameras, mid-range cameras and high-end cameras. So it it became a time more than ever in the last 10, 15 years where more and more people could get into photography, combine the fact that our smartphones all have cameras. I'm actually recording this video on my iPhone 13. Everyone's got a camera nowadays, so every can everyone can have a try at photography. But something I see is people giving up either very quickly or because of the wrong reason. Now, why would you give up photography? Well, if you get stuck into it and you realize, you know what, this isn't really for me. I prefer just taking the odd snap when I'm out with friends, when I'm out with family, and that's fine. I don't want to take it any more seriously than that. And there's no problem with that. But a lot of people turn their back on photography because First of all, as soon as they start making photographs, they're sharing them online right away. And I've always said to new photographers, don't rush in getting your work out there. Just because you've started making photographs doesn't necessarily mean you're a photographer. Now, I prefer just to learn the craft in silence, in privacy, you know, share with your friends and family. But a lot of people just get on social media, on the Instagrams, now on the TikToks, Facebook, and things like that, and they start putting their work out there. And as soon as they're making photographs, they're instantly looking for validation. Now, unless you're, you know, a hero from the heavens, there's a good chance that when you start, when you first start making your images, they're not gonna be very good, you know? So you won't get the feedback that your mind is craving. So a lot of photographers maybe spend a year or so trying to build their social medias. It doesn't really go anywhere. Their growth doesn't really happen. The likes that they want doesn't really happen. So they decide, do you know what? Photography's not for me. And that's such a poor reason to turn your back on the craft because more than admiration, more than fame, more than glory, photography can give you so much. It can be great for your mental health. In fact, I've spoken about that in a video you can watch right here or here. I don't know where it's gonna go, but you'll see it. It's a great way to make friends if you get into photography groups, into you know photography communities. It's a good way to, to just meet new people who are on a like-minded kind of way of thinking. It's a great way to overcome barriers in your life nerves, anxiety, things like that. If you push yourself out and you make street portraits and you're speaking to strangers, 
It's a good icebreaker at parties. It's a good way to give something back to those closest to you. You know, I've, I've done weddings for my friends. I've done, help them get products uh, out there with, with, with images and video. And there's, it's a great way to pass the time. It's a great way to have purpose in life. See, there's so many things that photography can give you but we get hung up on this one part because that's the way society is. You've got to be loved. You've got to be liked. And if that doesn't happen, then you should give up on something and find something new and see if that gets you loves and likes. Life will always be disappointing if you look at it like that. And the best example, and, and I bring her up so much, is Vivian Mayer. No one knew Vivian Mayer was a photographer. Well, other than the people on the streets that she encountered, but on a wider scale, no one knew Vivian Mayo was a photographer until after she died. Because she didn't care about the love and the admiration. She didn't want all the accolades that other photographers were receiving. She just wanted to make images. And it was that passion, that purpose, that gave her something in life. Alongside caring for children, she was a nanny, obviously. She had that outlet to be creative to have an identity, to be herself. And she didn't put the power into the hands of other people to determine whether or not she continued with something she clearly loved. If you don't love photography, then I'll tell you now, there's no point getting deep into it because you'll be disappointed. You have to start with a passion for the craft, first and foremost. And then the validation of others should be way, way, way down the list of reasons to pick up a camera. So if you're thinking that you're not getting where you want on social media, if you're not getting the followers on Instagram, you're not getting the likes on Facebook, and you're thinking about giving up, then just take a step back and think, why did I pick up a camera in the first place? The likelihood is because you thought it was cool, because it is cool. I mean, the fact we can record things in the real world onto a sensor and then make that either a print or a digital image. I mean, we've been doing it for over, it was the late 1800s, so what, over a hundred years, well over a hundred years. And it still fascinates me that we have this tool that can immortalize our memories and our experience of this world. That's a fantastic thing. And that's the reason we should practice photography. So don't give up if things aren't going your way in terms of growth. Just keep practicing, keep getting better, keep enjoying the craft, keep meeting like-minded people, keep pushing your boundaries, keep doing things that you wouldn't normally do and going places you wouldn't normally go if you didn't have a camera and if you didn't have an interest in this craft. Because photography can give you so much more than the mainstream likes to tell you. Step away from social media if it's bothering you. Your camera will still work, you can still make pictures, and you can still get the most out of photography. Because if you give it up, you could miss out on so much, and that would be a real shame. Guys, if you liked this video, then please do hit a subscribe, hit a like, let me know what you think, let me know what your relationship right now is like with photography. I'll be back again with another video soon. Until next time, this is the Dem Frames Podcast. I'm Dan Jin. See ya.